2.10 sketching functions and graphs of linear and quadratic functions okay um, this is part of the ultimate vision guide to further maths GCSE uh, yeah this is the part of the algebra section um, there's an index button here that will take you back to um, the index for algebra and any practice questions will appear at the bottom here so uh, what we need to know for this section, we need to be able to draw and sketch graphs of linear and quadratic functions of up to three domains. That means that essentially we're just going to stick up to three different graphs together to make one new graph. Labeling points of intersection of graphs with axes, that's standard sort of curve sketching, graph sketching, where you put things where they cross the axes. Understand that graphs should be only drawn within a given domain. So we don't go outside the numbers we've been given. Um, so if we're going from 1 to 5, we only draw it between 1 and 5. Normally I would say if you were drawing a straight line graph, um, an ordinary straight line graph, you just draw to the end, of the end of the axes, but this you must only use the domain that's given. So that's the only the, the numbers you're allowed to use. And then looking at any symmetries of quadratic graphs, it should be allow you to determine where the, 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 the bottom of the U is. So on a quadratic graph we're looking for a U shape, and then we can use symmetry to find the bottom of the graph. If we know two points either side, then we can work out halfway would be the, the bottom. It doesn't matter whether it's U or an N shape. Okay, so that's the sort of things we've got to know. Let's actually look at a couple of questions to give us an idea of the things that we might have to do. Okay, here's two questions. We've got a drawing question and then we've got one that's where something's drawn and we have to define it. Okay so here's one that a function f of x that's given in three domains so between 0 and 1 f of x is going to equal to 1, between 1 and 4 it's going to equal 4 and so on. So um, with function notation on this or when you're drawing graphs all you really got to do is think about this as being a y. So for the first bit y equals 1, the next bit y equals 4 and for the last bit y equals x squared. Okay, so we've got to draw um, a line where y equals 1. Well, we should know at this level that y equals 1 is a horizontal line. So between 0 and 1, um, y equals 1. So we've got to draw a line going across there. And then when we get to 1, um, it jumps up to 4. So then it goes up to 4. And then that goes across to 2 because it's between 1 and 2. And then when we get to uh, x squared, um, sorry, between 2 and 3, we've got x, y equals x squared. So let's plot a couple of points for that. So when x is 2, so the 4 is, is, is still going to be there. Um, when x is 3, it's going to be 9. Okay, so we're going to have a curve coming up from here to here. So this is going to curve. Hmm, it needs to come down, let me think. It's coming down here, up through here. Up through there. Oops. Now that should be that's actually very poorly drawn. Let's try that again. Okay, it's not particularly easy to do this with a pen, but you've got to show that it's a little bit curved. No, that's very bad again. Have to try one more time. Maybe if we plot a few points, so two and a half would be um, two and a half squared. It's going to be six point two five, which is going to be about there. It's not going to be much different to a straight line. It's oh, terrible. I can't do it. How am I going to do this? Let's turn this around. See if this helps. No. <laughs> okay, that is a failure. Okay, something like that. Hopefully, I remember to edit that bit. If not, you can have a little giggle at it. Right, so. Um, here it just jumps, it just goes from uh, just before 1, uh, it goes up to 4, so we just leave a gap there. Okay, so 
that's how we do it. Just do it. Just it's just basically three sections, separate graphs between three sections on the grid. This one, um, we've got to define f of x staying clear. So this is broken up into three parts. We've got this bit. The first bit's a straight line. Then we've got a, a, a straight line going up, and then a straight line coming down. So when f of x, if we, if we crypt from this, f of x equals well y equals two. Why have I written y? y equals 2 between, right, well, starting at minus 1. Okay, we don't actually know whether that includes the minus 1 or not, so we'll just we'll use the same format we got up there. So up to 1, between minus 1 and 1, it's going to equal 2. And then we want this equation of this straight line. So this straight line comes down through 0, and its gradient is 2. So between so f of um, x equals 2x between 1 and 2. So y equals 2x. This is the equation of this line. If we carried it on, that would be y equals 2x. And this line coming down, it's coming down with a gradient of 2. So that's minus 2x. And it would go through, if we kept coming backwards, it would go through 6, 8. So f of x equals 8 minus 2x between um, 2 and 4. We're just checking that. So when, when it's 4, 8 minus uh, 2 lots of 4 is 8, which is 0, that works. And here, 3, when x is 3, 8 minus 6 is 2, that works, so that's nice. Okay, so it's just the equation, three separate lines, three separate line segments between these um, domains. So the domain is the numbers you put into the function to get these values out. Okay, there we go. So that's um, sketching functions.